What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here. And first thing you may have noticed, no intro. Yep. Uh, I think it's time to move on from my legendary Scrolger intro. Uh, it's sad, but it's time to move on from scrolls, guys. Looks like, um, looks like there's not much hope. But back to duelist. This game has promise. Um, that gauntlet run from last video did not go too well. I got six wins, which is not enough to get a gauntlet ticket, so I don't have another free run at that, so I have to save up some gold. So I have 150 for Saturday, where gauntlet is open again. But today we're going to play with Abyssian, like I said. Uh, I've been leveling up all the factions uh, now that I have... Now that I'm elite rank zero. Uh, so I did line our song, I have Atruvian, onto Abyssian. My current Abyssian deck is mostly basic cards, a few cards I pulled from packs, but most of my Abyssian cards from packs I are, had already I disenchanted them, so that's kind of unfortunate. So my current Abyssian deck is pretty, uh, it's pretty bad, it's kind of aggressive. I like to win with uh, getting a lot of Wraithlings down and then getting them all to die when I have deaths death uh, watch things on the board so that's kind of the plan I'm actually almost on leveling them up I'm on level 8 I think you have to get to a level 11 for every uh, faction in duelist if you get to level 10 or 11 I think you get a uh, spirit orb which is a pack um, so that's good it's hard to obtain gold and packs in this game so it's nice that that is a simple way to get one and also it's good to be well versed in all the factions because the quests, a lot of the quests have to do with specific factions so you can maximize your gold gain that way. I'm facing CRHI, not going to try pronouncing that. And I'll tough, tough sacrifice here. I'm going to get rid of the dark transformation very early on. I'm gonna keep all those. Actually, maybe I should have gotten rid of the Horn of Forsaken as well. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Yeah, probably should have gotten rid of that as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that. Awesome. Got an early Death Watch, dude. Those are nice to have early on in the game because they can just get so big. Um, hopefully, he doesn't die in the first turn though. So what Abyssian likes to do sometimes is just steal mana orbs right away. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to take all three of these and increase all their attack to two with the Primus Fist. Primus Fist I thought was a, I don't know, I couldn't, have, couldn't afford the Shadow Watcher. Primus Fist is a good fit, I think, for this deck because you get a lot of uh, Wraithlings out and you can make them all a tiny bit stronger with the Primus Fist. So hopefully... I can get these things to die when I have a Shadow Watcher out. Okay, you're gonna destroy that. It's doing a lot to destroy that thing. I'm pretty happy with how he just did his turn. I think I'm now really set up. I'm going to put 6 damage on his general, actually 8 damage on his general. And then I'll also put down the Shadow Watcher and I'll have a Death Watch gains plus one, plus one. Death Watch means that the ability activates every time the minion, every time a minion dies. So, uh, if I get this orb by a five mana and I don't, I can't play anything else. Let's get rid of the tiger, see what I can top deck. Uh, nothing useful this turn, but it's fine. Um, in that case, it's time to get a giant dude. So I'll let, I'm also going to block this mana spring so he can't easily get it. So now that's a 5-5. Five, five. And if he's going to destroy it, he's going to have to spend cards and or take damage. Just a nice threat. And he'll continue to get bigger. So he's going to play the claws. Sit around in front of your opponent's second summon. What is it going to be? Oh, 
just the gloom chaser and it doesn't even oh the opening gambit doesn't work with that spell he just played i guess because opening gambit you get a uh, wraithling with it so i guess he's kind of unlucky there to top deck that of all things i will i want to hold on to the dark transformation because he's Magmar likes to play some pretty big things. Um, and this goes right past the rebirth that Magmar likes to use. I have a demonic allure. I think I'm going to play the Wraithing Storm and the Gloom Chaser this time, so I'm going to get rid of the demonic allure. Lore. Okay, so. Destroy that. Now I have six attack with this thing. And let's just put the six damage on you. You get to four health, unfortunately. And now I have to try to position around Frenzy. But I... Yeah, let's put this down first. It's hard to position around Frenzy. Because... Frenzy deals damage to a lot of spaces, but um, I think uh, it's fine. It makes his general kind of locked. So, okay, so we kind of needed to draw that. That's able to easily dispose of my Death Watch dude. My Shadow something, whatever it's called. But now I did top deck a Soul Shatter pack, which is like a Crimson Bowl from Scrolls. Uh, so I think that's going to be game here. Um... So, play that, and I can deal enough damage to win. Wow, we just see, that's what I said about Abyssian uh, being aggressive, and this is my aggressive Abyssian deck. can just win games pretty quickly with all the Wraithlings. Leveled up to level 9, did I get any cards for level 9? No. Okay. Well, that was only seven minutes, so let's head right into another game. Um, I am probably going to try to level up with Magmar next and do Vanar last. I kind of know the least about Vanar. I think it has the most... I think Vanar has the most confusing identity as a faction at least maybe i just don't know it as much because i haven't played as much against it he's saying prozac prozac's a pretty good player i remember him from scrolls a while back not recently in scrolls i think he stopped playing very early on i will get rid of the promise fist i know i have a two drop to play in turn one so i don't really need anything else and i top deck some other stuff uh, so good luck, have fun to you, sir. I'll get rid of. Ooh, Shrad could be good in case he plays a, you know, one of those totems that summon dervishes. So I'm gonna keep the dispel. I'll toss that, and I just get. So I basically got my starting hand back. And. Hmm. If I place it here, I'm ensuring that he'll be able to destroy something and deal damage to my general with a I'll put it here okay well now he destroys both of those with a uh, blast so hopefully he's not gonna blast and I get a thorn needler purely in here just because it's pretty aggressive all right looks like he doesn't have uh, a wildfire ink but he does have that dude um, but if, so I can, I can go ahead and dispel that with the ephemeral shroud, but is that the play I want to make? Let's get rid of the, hmm, I think I'm going to get rid of the thorn needler here. See what I get? Uh, that could be good. Deep fire or devour. Open again, but destroy friendly minutes around it. Uh, so I can get two mana things. That means I can play the three two drops, or kind of like that. 
Um, we'll start moving up with... I'm gonna have to dispel this. I don't want it to do mean stuff to me. So... Yeah, let's hold off on playing the Deep Fire Devourer right now. And... So I'll grab that, put down a Primus Fist, another Primus Fist, oh no, whoops, I messed that up, for some reason I thought I would have 6 mana to work with. Well, I maybe it's not a oops because he doesn't know that I, yes, yeah, so now he, has, now he can destroy both of these guys, that was a mistake on my part. So now he gets two. Well, now at least my shroud is a little better. Okay. And that's his turn. So misplay on my part, uh, thinking I had six mana so I can dispel the last dude. But I would have just been in a row for... Actually, no, he couldn't reach me with his general. So I could play... Hmm is a tougher place here. I really want to keep this. I think I'm going to get rid of the Wraithling Swarm. Or I could just keep everything. I'm just going to keep everything. I could move up, but I want to lower your thing here. I will play this. Oh, I went right there. That's where I didn't, I didn't want it to spawn. Darn it. Well, I'll go ahead and dispel that. And now it's your turn. Probably could have placed this differently to get a higher chance of getting a good spawn, not in a row like that, but whatever. Oh well. Okay, so they cancel each other out. And a lady lock. That's not good. All right. Um, I could play this and that. I think a good, I have to take stuff out. That's what I have to do. So I'll play this. I'll deal some damage there. And then I'll destroy my own dude. To get rid of that. And now I get a Saber Spine Tiger and another Saber Spine Tiger. And I can play both next turn. So that's good. Maybe I can try to make a bit of a comeback here. Okay, so there goes my my little wraithling machine. And he heals it up. Alright, not good. Prozac's got the cards. Sarlacc's really good. Um, well, because you healed that up, I need one more damage on that. And I'm not going to be able to do that. That kind of sucks. I'll get rid of one of the... I'll keep this tiger. Yeah, I'll get rid of one of the tigers. Ooh, demonic lure. Well, I think it's a good time to move this thing out of the way. Move it down here. I don't want it to be up here because then he can get the mana tile very soon. And I'll finally get rid of your blast. I'll go ahead and trade the tiger with your healer, dude. Next turn I can play 
Deep Fire Devourer plus Wraithing Sword and then Deep Fire Devourer, which would let me get a, what, a 7-7 seven, seven with Frenzy. Um, and then I hope it doesn't get dispelled. Oh, I a mean, Mara Healer. Oh, that's gonna be tough to deal with. It looks like I'm gonna lose this one, guys. Don't really have a way to show that I'm Mara Healer. I have no way to dispel it at all. Uh, so that means I'll take 5 damage she gets healed. Um, I should probably keep the Dark Seed just in case I can think I can get a quick win. That's really my only hope. I'll get rid of the Horn of the Forsaken because I don't think I'll be dealing any, trying to deal any damage this turn. There we go, Demonic Lure. Now I'll put this up here. And... I I guess I'll play the yeah, Z Fire Dower, maybe it doesn't sound even that good. Should I just play it right now as a 4-4? Four, four, a 4-4 four, four with a frenzy. Um Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Nope, I'm gonna play this. Okay, so I kind of locked him in there. And now he... And I bought myself time by using my uh, lore to get rid of the Lady Lock and MR Healer to the corners of the board. So now I bought myself some time. He's at 14 health. Uh, that's that's a bit of a problem. And ugh. well, now Defire Devour does nothing. Oh, I do have Dispel now. I can Dispel the MR Healer, but now what does that do? Not a whole lot. I have to find a way to somehow just start doing stuff. I'm going to have to get rid of the Dark Transformation, although I'd love to keep it. Oh, well, there's a Shadow Watcher. Um... I think what I'll do is put down a Shadow Watch, put down this first. I don't want to destroy my Shadow Watcher. And now put down a Shadow Watcher and just destroy this. So I can at least get that to 3-3. Three, three. Let's see what I draw. Another Shadow Watcher and another Shroud. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm fishing for on cards here. It's not a whole lot that can save me. Oh well. And he's gonna until end of turn, so it's gonna come back for my turn, I guess. Ooh, all right. So he's got the legendaries. He has four legendaries on the board right now. Prozac has the cards. Just showing off his legendaries. I feel like a lot of videos go like this on my channel so far. I win the first game and then I get stomped on the second game. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be able to come back here. Uh, is it possible to come back? Oh, end of turn. It's for my turn as well. Uh, well, well, Drat. I'll get rid of a Shadow Watcher. Ooh, I have. I forgot I had one of these. Um, that means I can deal four damage to his. I can deal four damage to his general, um, and then this, and then I'm just gonna try to top deck another one of those. Okay, so that's the plan. Wait, what happens if I dispel this? Does the spell get rid of debilitated? 
Do I dare find out? I mean, it's not like anything that's. I'm gonna try to dispel it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if it if it works. Cause I have enough to play everything, right? Three, two, three. So let's try it. Oh, it works. Oh god, nope. Nope, I'm messing this up. Quick. Get to the corner. Okay, so let's see if I can survive another turn. Can I top take another one of the Dark Seeds? Nope. Dark Seed wouldn't even have a 100% chance of winning. I need him to have five cards in his hand. But it buys me another turn, maybe. Um, let's see if I can survive. If I can top deck something with Rush. But no, I, I already have. I did replace one of my Saber Swine Tigers. If I can top deck that, then maybe. Oh no, I can't really get out of this now. I want a healer. Oh well. And I can't even reach her. So I'm just going to have one replace. And if I can find the Dark Seed. Then, come on, don't play anything else. Give me a chance to win. He plays one more thing. Oh, all right, I lost. He's now found the Dark Seed. I still lose because it only deals four damage and four damage, and he has ten health. So another Dark Seed would have been perfect if he had five cards in hand. But he played this guy, so now he has four cards in hand. So it wouldn't even do a whole lot. Uh, see what I would have got, anyways. Nope, nothing. I'll just play it. So well played, Prozac. You have beaten me. And that'll be it for this video. So you see, I guess I, I'm winning most of my games, but I still run into uh, I run into rank zero guys that are better than me quite often, um, quite frequently. I just lose games, but um, I think I'm still getting better, learning the cards of all the factions. And that'll be it for today. So like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelists.